Winter is the ideal time to be pruning many of our deciduous trees and shrubs. At this time of year, you can see the structure, you can see the branching on your trees. There's no sap flowing, there are no pests present. And it's a great way to get outside and get a little bit of light exercise, some fresh air. So this can be done on many trees that shed their leaves or deciduous trees. We're talking about today, this little maple, uh, but this could be an oak tree, it could be a dogwood tree, it could be red bud. Any of these, we use the same technique for our pruning. But there's a right and a wrong way to do everything, so I just want to go through a couple quick pointers with you. Because previously, many years ago, we would talk about doing a flush cut where we would come and we would prune branches smooth and even with the trunk of the tree. And what we discovered was wherever we've created those wounds, wood decay entered into those wounds and gradually over the years led to rot that eventually caused those branches to fail. So with good science and good study, what we learned is that this region right in here, what I call this branch collar, where it's slightly swollen and enlarged, this is the region where trees will naturally compartmentalize the wood decay, prevent it from spreading, and gradually seal over so that, that wound disappears. So I'm going to show you what I call a three cut process to how to remove branches without causing more damage and keeping this branch collar intact. So I begin, I'm actually making a little bit of an undercut here. That's really to prevent the risk of bark stripping as this branch starts to fall off. Then I go through and I'm cutting from the top, which is where the branch will actually be severed and you see the weight comes right off. This is where it's really critical. This is where I make my third and final cut, where I'm cutting through here right at that branch collar, uh, being careful that I don't leave a stub in place that will inhibit the sealing or closing of this wound, but also not injuring the uh, main trunk of this that could potentially lead to wood decay problems down the road. So you can see, this is something you can do yourself. We've removed this branch, but we've left this branch collar, this enlarged area intact. This is the place that is so critical the tree uses to protect and prevent decay from spreading in there. So with each passing year, this will grow a new layer of wood that will eventually seal this wound. So this is an example of a branch that was removed about two years ago and you can see how already it's forming this new callus tissue and that wood that will, and over the period of another one or two years, completely seal and disappear as though it cut had never been made. I hope this has been helpful and you have a great time out there doing your pruning.